All right, I'm trying to figure out how to start this without feeling like too awkward. It's gonna be awkward. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this video before you make a mistake, I guess, um, because there's definitely a lot of things that... Um, the pros and cons of living in an RV full-time. There we go. Thanks, Chris Emma Grace. Emma. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I want to start off with this one. It actually may not be cheaper to do this, depending on what state you live in. So. We're in Washington State. We are saving thousands of dollars by doing this. Now, if we were back in Virginia, I mean... The housing we market. Would be, we, we're paying similar for the land here and for the cost of the RV that our mortgage was in Virginia. Yeah. For a house that was three times the square footage. Yeah. Now. But the cost of living is just so much cheaper in Virginia than it is here. So. Hundred times cheaper. So I guess you know, like even back in where our parents are from in Indiana, I mean, it would be kind of pointless. Now, mm -hmm. unless you wanted to. Unless you own land. Yeah, and you just didn't want to build a house and you just threw an RV on there. Uh, but yeah, that one's kind of a big one. Because Plus. I feel like everyone's gonna think, well, if you're already living for like six, seven hundred dollars a month, you can't really get cheaper than that. Because mm -hmm. you gotta think too, what truck are you using to, to tow? You know, did you buy a brand new truck? Right? Where the land? Oh, oh hello. Blue will make guest appearances. Yes, yeah, she'll, she'll just come out. Yeah. And uh, you have to rent the land, pay the electric bill, and pay for the RV monthly. Mm -hmm. So, I guess kind of put that in perspective. For us here in Washington, we're paying five hundred dollars for the land, four eighty for the trailer, and then one fifty a month in electric, which is still more than we would have been paying, or about the same that we would have been paying in Virginia for our house. Yes. But when apartments for rent out here start at like seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, like for like a should. studio, yes. and if you wanted a, a bedroom, you're paying like twenty three, twenty four hundred. $100. If you want to live in a nice area, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that too. Now, I guess that another thing is, um, so I guess we're kind of different from other people that do it. There are people online that will, that they just take six, seven months out of the year and they full-time RV, but they are traveling. We're not really traveling, although in the summertime, we will just take the house and go and try to find some cool places. Like, right now, it doesn't make any sense. It's just, like, gloomy and gross. Um, because there's a lot of people out here now RVing, it's incredibly difficult to get an RV spot. Yes. We had such a hard time finding a place to stay. We were on a, a like several wait lists for months, like wait lists that were a year yeah. plus. Some places just called us back and we put our name on the wait list over six months ago. Yeah, yeah it was it was hard. Uh, and even with like um, even with just trying to go to a campground yes. was kind of difficult because also it's the winter time half. The places are closed. All the KOAs in the north shut down in the winter because yeah. they don't have business. Which is, I mean, which is fine. Um, I guess if you don't like gross things, do not take on this lifestyle. <laughs> you will have to see your poop. You will probably smell some bad things at certain times. Living in a trailer park or a campsite at least, the last one we went to, we opened the door and it always smelled like poop. It did, yeah. And so that's one thing that's kind of bad here. It's this, nice. It's nice because half the houses here are hard piped in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just going to smell like I feel like shit. we're talking a lot of the negatives, though. There's a lot of positives. Well, we'll get to the positives, but I want to just say some of the negatives first because these are the things that just, I mean, can turn you away real fast. If you're used to... Having a lot of stuff. You got to get rid of stuff. I don't know how... I mean, I threw out five or six... That didn't throw out. I donated five or six bags of clothes, just me. Mm -hmm. You gotta go through all your tools. Like you just have yeah. to, everything that you have with you has to be able to, to pack and go. Right. Like I, I'm a carpenter. I did a lot of work, and I, I'd, before we left to do this, we had downsized real hard, and I had like four of the same drill, mm -hmm. right? And just like a bunch of stuff, you know. And uh, I guess, but it was really nice though, driving down the road and being like, everything we own is in these two cars and the trailer, and it was pretty cool. Um, I guess if you're used to having a certain type of lifestyle, as in a higher class lifestyle, I guess, this probably wouldn't be 
know what I'm saying? I don't know. You, there's some bougie RVs out there. There are some bougie RVs, I guess, but... Where you don't even feel like you're in an RV. It's literally a house. Which sometimes ours, ours is like, I feel like this feels, feels like a house. Like a house. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. I guess, to each their own, uh, trying to find a trailer park to live long term sometimes is on the... It's difficult. Not the di well, not just difficult, just like the atmosphere and the people that live here are different. Absolutely. It's we've not a neighborhood. We've got some interesting neighbors. Yeah. It's not like a neighborhood you'd probably typically be used to. There's a lot of characters that live in trailer parks. So, I guess that's... Lots of good people where we're at, though. Yes. Very good people. The community is fun. It's just probably not as um, clean cut and proper. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. But it's not that bad. Okay, let's get to some of the good things. The feeling of knowing that we can just pick up and go whenever is awesome. I think that's one of my favorite things. Um, and we have these two sheds in the back, so basically we can literally still go on vacations, we can still go and travel, and we just we just have a home base at this place, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. For um, us it was just the finances were a huge yeah. deciding factor in, in choosing to live in, in a trailer. Is that a child? Meow. There's a cat. There actually is a child on top. They're playing outside that lady's house and there's a child on, on her roof. Yeah, yeah, when I went out there was a kid on her roof. Okay. They're like the shed I roof. hope she knows that. No, no, yeah, she was right there and she's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> It's funny, yeah. People here are interesting. <laughs> it is interesting. It's fun. I like it. We don't see this this life is a whole lot different than when we were in our house. We still have the ability to have people come and stay the night. Like, we've, yeah. we've been camping, we've had, you know, three guests in here. Um, you can fit four extra people, probably more, to be honest, with the couches we've got, too. So, like, we've had people stay over. We had, like, some people stop by, and, like, everyone fit into the space, no problem. So, that was good. It was, like, we could still entertain in here, like yeah. we still did. And it wasn't. There were no issues with that. Right. Uh, I think. I think a couple of big things that you have to look out for, and I know this is going back to the negatives, but we kind of we figured it out. Um, mail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Getting your mail sent places is difficult. Here we got lucky because they give us our own mailbox. Yeah, Inter like an address. Internet. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest one because sometimes you go to places and it's free internet. Some places you go and you gotta pay like an extraordinary like amount of money. Some use their internet. Yeah, some places it's like fifteen to twenty dollars a week to use like Slow. four gigabytes or, or megabytes per second, which is just trash. We ended up, uh, and I'll make a video about it too. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, I guess. But we just use an Android phone uh, with five G as our. It's called Trailer Pi, and that seems to work pretty well. Yeah, but I think. Issues. But I think that could be a big, a big thing. If you're like on the road all the time, having a home base to like send mail to would probably be a big thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. We definitely needed an address when we came here, so that was yeah. good. That's a good thing about this place. Yeah. Hmm. Other good things. Well, I can go back to another thing that's a little bit challenging is not having a laundry room anymore. Oh yeah. So having to do laundry. Um, this place has a laundry facility, which is nice, but it is expensive. It's almost two dollars every time you wash it, and then another two dollars every time yeah. you dry it. And you know, we're in a trailer park, so I mean, the washers and dryers aren't the most high tech yeah. pieces of equipment. Nice old speed cleans. Yeah, they do the job, but yeah. like they're it, it is expensive. It is expensive. So um, a lot of trailers, like the bigger ones, you can have a hookup for a washer and dryer, which if we continue and then upgrading would be definitely something that we continue because I miss being able to just throw like dirty workout clothes or you know d dirty towels like into the wash and have them done in like an hour but right. now we have to just walk and like do laundry and have to make a dedicated day. Yeah. We have a lot more challenges than... This is also like brand new um, but I think yeah. so far the experience has been great. We talk about it all the time that we're just like living a dream right now that yeah. we're able to like save so much money and now we have the freedom to just like up and go camping and travel and we're so excited for the weather to get a little bit nicer to just like go see Washington and yeah. go see the West Coast a little bit more while, while we're here. And saving money while I do it too because now even though we're already paying for this we can now go out and instead of spending two hundred dollars a night in a hotel mm -hmm. well now we get to just even you know yeah exactly you know and it's so much easier than camping like I don't want I don't want to go back to camping after we like stay in this place yeah right when we go out like sleeping <laughs> in a tent I'm like no like why would I do that when I can bring my own bed with me it's so yeah nice. that's another thing it was really cool to be able to just like boondock when we were coming here 
Walmarts, truck stops. Look, I love how everything was designed to work on 12 volts. You still have your your heat, your hot water, yeah. and the water pump. That's really cool. You can literally just go anywhere. Ours is like long, so we're kind of, you know, we can't, I guess, go anywhere. I know there's like, there's tinier teardrops where you could literally take it, you know, mm -hmm. drive up the side of a mountain with the damn thing, but yeah. yeah. We're excited to like bring our friends Yes. And when the weather gets warmer and like go see some places. And we got the boat too. So I'll be trailering this and then she could take the boat with us and we could just explore. And uh, I want to make some cool footage too. I want to eventually get a, like a tiny drone that'll follow us and just make some cool stuff because I think it's fun. I'm having a blast editing these videos. This, <laughs> <laughs> this RV park that we're at now is, is really quiet. It's really nice. It is. All right. So let's kind of like recap on some of the negatives. If you don't like poop or touching poop, you may not, no this, one likes touching poop. This, if you're not okay with with dealing with that, then th it may not then be. Then this you. may not be the life for you. If you hate moving around all the time, this may not be the life if for you. If you don't like adventure. Then if you don't like don't, adventure, yeah. Don't get an RV. Yes. <laughs> um, if uh, you don't like setting things up and taking them down all the time. This doesn't require a whole lot of setup, though. It doesn't, but you still have to just... Okay, fine. But fair enough. Um, if you don't want to downsize, mm -hmm. this That's may not be like you. That's a big one. Yeah, yeah, if you can't deal with not having um, full bars and LTE 24/7, this may not be like you. Just well, I'm just saying, if you're if you're going around a lot and you need your internet or something, it's not like you. If you hate bonfires and you hate like the seeing things and being able to, you know, park next to the ocean like we did in Virginia Beach. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of cool things. So I'm just saying the smells, having to take the the sewer hose and clean out the black tank. There's just like things that are kind of gross. And if you are used to a certain lifestyle, this may not be it. If you like a lot of space, definitely not something for you. If you're one of those people who like to escape to the basement, I don't know where you're gonna go. You can't. There's no basement in RVs. Um, but good things are it's fun. You can go wherever you want for cheaper than you could stay at a hotel for. For where we're at geographically, it's more cost effective to live in the RV than it would ever be to rent or to buy. Yeah. And it's in the same area. But now we have some cool things like you adventure, like when she PCSs and we have to move across country, well now we can do it in this RV and like expo actually explore. So instead of it being like a hassle, it's more like fun than anything. So yeah. But stay tuned for later, we'll do like a another house tour plus what we have set up in the back mm -hmm. you guys can see um what we're working with in that shed because i'm super the excited shed. the shed because i'm super excited about it um we're trying to live it up here at the rv we park. brought the hot tub we so. brought the hot tub hot tub is here and uh yeah you guys have any questions you can always comment yeah comment uh i'm sure there's things that we left out on here because we didn't prepare too well for this video um but if there's something that you have a question about I'll answer it. I'll even make another video. It doesn't matter. If you have any questions, you know, if you want to see how to set up the RV or take it down or do something or blah, blah, blah. I am going to make a video too of upgrades that I've, uh, that I've done and we, that we've done to the, uh, to the trailer that, that has helped us out. Like, um, the water tank, the heater, the water heater. When we first got in, the water was like at like 80 degrees, but there's a, you know, I got it back up to hot and the light that comes through the, the, the little dashboard here and um, the wet bay was getting all moldy. So there's a couple of things that I did that I'll, I'll make a video about as well, but overall RVing full time is fun. I have no problems with it. Maybe a little loud outside. It was definitely different. It was definitely like a change from just living in a house. Yeah. Just like things that we had to change, but all in all, I feel like the pros what we're doing right now far outweigh any sort of cons that could be absolutely um, and it's cozy i mean people are all into like the tiny house like yeah. this is a tiny house you can just take it wherever so we, yeah. love, we love our tiny house we do love our tiny house and i want to mention one more thing before we go it is a lot easier to live in a small space with someone that like you respect and have like the same like views i guess if we if we always bickered and stuff i feel like putting Putting you in a smaller house that you don't have anywhere to escape from can like destroy a, a relationship. Well, and with COVID happening, like, people yeah. are inside a lot more. So yeah, we've been we had a good time. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying, you know, um, we're pretty solid in in like our foundation and stuff, so this doesn't bother us. But if you have a significant other that like you guys fight and 
you're always in a different room or something, this is not going to be... Yeah, you can't have your own, like, designated space. Yeah. You do share, you it, share it a lot. All the time. But it's not that... I don't think that's a big deal. At least for us. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Comment if you have any questions, and we'll make a video for that. What do you think, Blue? We'll check out the shed oh! in the next one. I almost dropped the dog. Okay, bye. Hey, hey, say goodbye, Blue. Don't worry, I'll edit that and make it less awkward. Okay, thank you. I promise. <laughs>